Did you know that you can use an ordinary water bottle to defend yourself against an attacker? It's true. My name is Ma'am Cheryl, along with Master Jonathan, and we are the founders of Empowered. We strive to help women and young girls build confidence and find their inner strength through defense and empowerment training. A water bottle is a great self-defense tool because most people would never think of a water bottle being used as a weapon. And nowadays, most people carry one around during the regular day, whether it be a regular plastic water bottle or a sealed one like this. Because water bottles can contain hard metal, it can be used effectively for striking your attacker on the vulnerable areas of their body. We're going to go over a few scenarios that you may encounter and how you could possibly use a water bottle to defend yourself. So the first scenario would be what you saw earlier in this video where you're walking somewhere and somebody happens to grab you aggressively from behind. I'm going to let Ma'am Cheryl kind of break that down for you. Alright, so similar to what you saw in our intro, the water bottle was used first as a groin shot and then it went straight for the head. The eyes will immediately start to water up, likely hands are going to go to the face, which is going to now get off of you and give you time to take off run away. That's the important part. The second you know, your assailant is off of you, you're safe in the situation. Don't wait around and see what happens. Alright, so now we're going to fill off the initial scenario where the first one was, she already knew that I was the aggressor. This time, I'm going to grab her shoulder. She's going to turn around. That's when she's going to realize that I'm the aggressor. Because a lot of times, some people put their hand on your shoulder, and you're just not going to turn around and hit them. Unless there's something wrong with you. So this one is a little more relaxed and becomes more aggressive. All right. Right. So if I'm just walking and someone grabs my shoulder and I turn around, it's your initial reaction, and then, then they become aggressive. So, at my bottle, you can either, with the top or bottom, right up, anywhere up the middle, you got the groin, you got solar plex, throat, or face. Any of them will be enough to cause enough impact to get their hands off of you and take off. Like we said, you always want to hit multiple vulnerable areas. So, I mean, being, being from the island, I swear, with Ma'am Cheryl, she like that, easily had access to the groin, solar plex, throat, and almost anywhere in the face will work. So, so two shots real quick. But the whole idea on this one, again, you didn't know the situation was aggressive until it escalated. Are you looking to switch up your fitness routine a bit? Check out our new Fit12 by Empowered. The 12-week fitness program that challenges your upper and lower body, strengthens your core, and improves your cardiovascular health in 30, 40, and 50 minute workouts. Designed to help you reach your fitness goals. Check out Fit12 in the description below. Now back to the video. Alright, the next scenario is going to be where nothing's really happened yet, but the female is feeling like something to felt to happen. Remember, you don't have to wait for somebody to physically harm or touch you to defend yourself. So this is more of a free empty strike where I'm going to be the aggressor kind of getting in Ma'am Cheryl's face and she only has the option to defend herself versus Time to really just to walk away. Mm -hmm. So, like Master Jonathan said, if someone's coming at you, and I mean, some, you give, sometimes you give a fair warning, and they're still coming at you, and and you have something like this in your hand, very quick shot, easily reach to the throat. It's a very sensitive area. I think if you feel if you feel around that area yourself, it is very sensitive. So, just a quick shot should be enough, they get their, put their hands to themselves now and gives you time to at least run away and give, you, give yourself that distance. Again, this technique would only be used if you absolutely have to. The throat is a very vulnerable area and you can do a lot of damage with a simple pull. Alright, we're going to move one more scenario and this one is, you know, the attacker grabs your hand that has the water bottle. Now, you potentially can't use that bottle to defend yourself, or can you? Mm -hmm. So I'm just talking to my buddies and then I grabs my hand. So you want to consider just you want to consider everything on you as a potential um, weapon that you can use to help defend yourself. So if I had the water bottle, I don't want to drop it. I could just switch it to my other hand. Groin shot, I could pull it across up and over that like space, really put some back into it. Enough to give you that time to take off. 
Yeah, you know, naturally, uh, my mindset, if I was the attacker, I would gra naturally grab the side that has this. Because now I know that this is kind of all free occupied. And if she were to try to hit me right now, she can. Nothing stops her from her grabbing it, but when low first, and then coming high, because when she hits me low first, and she saw my hand naturally drop, and she can clip me inside the head. And you Go anywhere to the head. It's going to be effective. And then after that one free shot, you will see. We hope you enjoyed today's video and remember to subscribe for all our future videos. Or go to womenempowermenttraining.com for more resources and check out our new Fit12 fitness program designed for any fitness level or busy schedule. And ladies, remember. Hey, that's my line. And ladies, remember you have the right to defend yourself and you are worth defending.